Our final race of the program from Clay Pigeon, and it's the Supermasters. Sam Dimelo again on the pole position from Ben Yeomans. Michael Roots and Sam Fisher. Friday, Rainbird, Bredner, Port, Ken Churchill, and Ben Nichols round up the top ten, with Carl Churchill returning from Stig Elbeth and Mark Lawrence. Now, it's going to be an interesting one, this, because I'm not entirely sure just how fast Michael Roots is going to be this weekend, because, of course, he missed it last time at Fulbeck, because when he got out of the car at Glanagh Gorse, he found he cracked a rib, so he's still very sore and he's made, his he's made his return at Clay Pigeon, but he's got himself straight into second position. And Ben Yeomans has had a bit of a sour start, it has to be said, so he's got a lot of work to do to fight back. But Michael Roots has set off in pursuit of Sam Dimelo with an incredibly sore frame. How on earth is he going to cope with the undulations of the Clay Pigeon circuit? It's not exactly lots of peaks and troughs, but it's incredibly fast, and there's an amazing amount of uh, long, high sweepers. So he's going to be really, really aching by the end of this one. So we're just looking at the details of the drivers that have entered in the 2017 championship. Some of them not here for a couple of different reasons. Neil Fisher, the E-plate, I think, is having a holiday this time. Matt Ogle, the Carlin mechanic, is not here, of course, because he's currently spannering for Lando Norris, who's racing out at the Norris ring in the FIA Formula 3 European Championship. So uh, when he returns for Butmore, he'll be able to tell us all about uh, how Lando's been getting on. So good racing at the moment in the early stages as Jim Rainbird went wheel to wheel there with Roland Bredner. So let's see how the competitors are going to make this one into a bit of a race fest. Can they close up on Sam Dimelo, who has been top of every single session so far this weekend? He was fastest in both practices uh, yesterday. And when you take into account the heats, pre-finals and finals from all five meetings so far this year, this is the 15th race of the season, as we look at Michael Roots' details, trying to chase down Sam Dimelo. Sam has won all but three races this year. Ben Yeomans is one of the drivers who's taken a victory off him. He finally got his first victory in the uh, Birala UK Series Supermasters since 2015. Uh, ben Yeomans. He was runner-up last year, but that was because he was really strong at scoring points. Sam Fisher's looked a little bit stronger. They're in P4 in front of George Friday, trying to close in on Ben Yeomans to get himself onto the podium. Friday is currently fifth on the road, sixth in the championship. But no, just to go back uh, where we were talking about uh, Sam Dimelo, this is the 15th race of the year. Oh, as uh, Bredner and Carl Churchill run off the road there a little bit. Carl Churchill uh, with his new GT radial uh, colours on the cart. Just in front of the nutmeg cart, that's Sean Port in front of Mark Lawrence. But uh, this is the 15th race of the 2017 Beryl Art UK Series Supermasters class. And Sam Dimelo has won all but three races this year. Two of them from Michael Roots in the first two finals of the year at Wilton Mill and at uh, Shennington. And last time out at Fullbeck, where the cameras weren't there, unfortunately, Ben Yeomans finally got his first win of the 2017 season and his first win in the class since 2015. So Ben Yeomans looking very strong uh, in the 2017 season, but at the moment unable to run with Michael Roots. But look at the lead Sam Dimelo has got already. How does he do it? What does he have for breakfast every morning of a meeting? Because he is absolutely on it once again. This is where the action is further back, though, as we look at the battle for fifth position. It's Friday fifth from Rainbird. Ken Churchill in seventh position. Then it's Bredner, Carl Churchill, Sean Port. Uh, Mark Lawrence is in 11th position in front of Ben Nichols. So a really strong run, this. And Ken Churchill, I have to say, has been incredibly fast, considering he did no testing yesterday at all. No testing. He was here, but he was focusing more on Carl, who has uh, had a couple of meetings out. They were trying to get him, uh, trying to get his car more up to speed. But Ken Churchill running very well indeed. Now Roland Bredner didn't do testing yesterday either, but again he is right on the limit and pushing very hard indeed. See at this level the drivers don't really like testing on Saturday. They know they have to do it, or at least some of them choose to do it. Oh Bredner's running, running. I got a bit of a mistake there, or is that a mechanical problem for Bredner? I think Bredner's got a mechanical problem. So Bredner has fallen to the back of the queue. Yep, he's certainly not pushing as much as he was. So I think Roland Bredner may be dropping out of this race. I wondered if he got a mistake out of the final turn, but no, the cart is definitely crippled. So I think it's going to be a race over for Roland Bredner. That's a real shame. I was going to say some of the drivers here don't like testing on the Saturday. They know they have to if they want to win the races, but uh, they'd rather not if it was up to them. They'd rather just race on both days 
but uh, it is incredible the quality of driver you have to be to win at this level. And just as with the Super Elites, I challenge any kart racer in the UK who thinks they're worth something to come and have a go in this championship. It is a come and have a go if you think you're hard enough at sort of championship, really. Sam Dimelo, the class of the field, but Michael Roots uh, and uh, Ben Yeomans, both winners in this series, is up the inside. Ken Churchill gets past George Friday, so that moves him into sixth position. So Ken Churchill having a great race, this one. But Roots is now falling into the clutches of Yeomans and Fisher. See, I wonder if this was the right meeting to come back for. Now, he's obviously still struggling with that broken rib. This is a really tough circuit on the elements. The Rainbird running in fifth place. Ken Churchill in sixth. Seventh position is George Friday. There's Dimelo out in front. Look at the margin. That's, a, uh, that's absolutely incredible. Michael Roots still second in front of Ben Yeomans. But Yeomans is working very hard to try and close him down. There's some really top talented drivers in this class as uh, Dimelo just keeps a quick check over his shoulder. Right, I've got eight and a half minutes of this. They're a long way back, so let's just have some fun out in front. I tell you what, Sam Dimelo needs a few drivers to come and have a go at him. And there are some very talented racing drivers at senior level of karting in the uh, British Isles. I wonder if there's a few that would be willing to have a go at Sam Dimelo. Well, the next round of the championship is on the... Uh, First weekend of September, and it's at Butmore Park. So if you think you're good enough to take on Sam Dimelo and beat him, MiralArtUKSeries.com or EasyCart.co.uk. Go and have a look. Get yourself an entry for the Butmore Park round of the championship, and let's see if anyone can beat him. Roots and Yeomans are doing their best to try and close him in. Sam Fisher having a good weekend in uh, fourth position. Potential podium for him if he keeps up this kind of speed. But Roots again hops over the curbs with Yeomans in pursuit. Fisher there in fourth. Then it's Rainbow being caught by Churchill. Now this is an interesting battle for fifth position because this is for the Grand Master class because obviously the senior, senior drivers in the class, they go for the Grand Masters Championship. But uh, there is uh, a no, there's no restriction at all of age in this championship, of course. And they do say excellence knows no age in the world of motorsport. Jim Rainbird and uh, Ken Churchill two of the uh, senior statesmen in the championship but still very competitive dri drivers. Stig Elberth, the uh, Norwegian who races in this championship, he's 60. So it just shows you just how uh, incredible the racing driving standards are at this level. And they're taking an awful lot of punishment over those curbs. But still, these guys keep pushing. They all wear rib protectors, of course, in this championship. You need to with the punishment you take over the curbs here. Ken Churchill right underneath Jim Rainbird. Sean Port trying to get one over on Carl Churchill as well. Now, this is the great battle for the Grand Masters victory. Fifth position overall, Jim Rainbird versus Ken Churchill. Oh, Jim, that's a rookie error. Don't look behind you, bucko. You know he's right there. So Ken Churchill has another go out of turn two. Up to the chicane, right, left. Bunny hopping over the curbs. Down the short stretch, is Ken gonna have a look? He's too far back, but he's building up to it. Into the right hand up. Rainbird goes a little bit deep, but that's all right. He's got the line to cover. But that's definitely going to give Ken Churchill a chance to close up. Then it's Friday. Mark Lawrence up to eighth now. Carl Churchill in front of Sean Port. Mark Lawrence has had a reasonable weekend so far in terms of speed. But uh, again, he's had absolutely no luck in the races. Mark Lawrence at the sharp end in practice sessions and qualifying earlier today. But uh, in the races, it all seems to come apart. There is Ken Churchill. Ken actually made me a very sweet offer earlier in the weekend. He said, well, I, have, uh, I, I race in this championship for fun. I enjoy it, and it's uh, a good sport. But I tell you what, mate, later on in the year, if you feel comfortable and you feel confident, I'll give you my cart on the Saturday, and you can do some practice sessions in it. So that's why I am now religiously in the gym every morning trying to get myself prepared for it. I do not want to be slow. So it's going to be an interesting challenge. We might see some more of that later on in the season. Ken has made a very nice offer and he said it's open for the rest of the year. Although he did give me some advice. He said, you might not want to do it for Butmore Park, mate. It might finish you off. Cheers, Ken. You obviously underestimate me. Down to the S's. They have come once again through to the long hairpin. Up to that quick flick. Michael Roots losing ground to Ben Yeomans quite rapidly now. Just over five minutes to go, plus that one lap. Sam Dimelo, well, he's in a different postcode. Forget about him. He's going to win this one at a canter at this rate. But Roots and Yeomans working very hard to try and close him down. Of course, it's motor racing, and we've seen a couple of drivers break down today. Don't forget Christian Lilly in the cadets. Poor chap. He was leading when he broke down, and it has happened before. 
very rarely to Sam Dimelo, but it has happened, so he can't really be complacent yet. He's got a good advantage, he just needs to look after the car. Sam Fisher, meanwhile, has obviously had enough of running in fourth position, and he's going to try and catch these guys unsighted to try and get himself onto the podium. Quick flick over the shoulder for Dimelo. Four and a half minutes more of pounding around, plus one lap. But Sam Fisher trying to chase down the podium. Still Ken Churchill trying to get into the first position in the Grand Masters class as he tries to get past Jim Rainbird. Is he going to get any closer this time? There's Dimelo. So they've just come out of the chicane and he's just gone through the right-hander, the first part of the uh, long sweeping hairpins. So Sam Dimelo working very hard out in front. Takes it all in his stride. Loves his motor racing. Works very hard, though. He is uh, no slouch. Gives a lot of dedication to his racing. Turns up on the day, puts his foot down and sees what happens. And usually he's a race winner. Just a quick... Uh, Hand off the wheel there, just to uh, push himself around the circuit a little bit further, just to get a little bit of air in the engine. Up and over the curbs once again. Sam Fisher still chasing down Roots and Yeomans, still trying to gain that ground and still chipping away at it little by little. If these two are not careful, Fisher is going to catch them both and catch them napping. Fifth position is still Rainbird, I do believe, behind them. Yes, just in front of Ken Churchill. But what agony must Michael Roots be in now? It's only been a few weeks since uh, the last round at Fulbeck, which he missed. And of course, he was uh, still complaining that he was very sore coming into this weekend. Look, he's, he really is having to work hard in that cart as well through turn one and two. There must be absolute agony. But I wouldn't be too surprised. He's done one side at uh, Glanagos Park. He, if he's not careful, he'll do the other as well. Ben Yeoman's working very hard. Three minutes to go, plus one lap. So I would estimate by my quick mathematics that's about six laps or so to go in this race. And it must be absolute torture for Michael Roots out in front. You are on the limit for about 15 minutes straight in these carts. And these are, you, you may have a go on an A&D cart and think, well, 15 minutes isn't all that. These are not arrive and drive carts. They are several leagues ahead of that. They're incredibly powerful, mightily difficult to handle, and they are ferociously grippy. And that takes an awful lot out of the body. So you have to be very, very physically capable to deal with the pressures that driving these carts comes with. But Michael Roots is one of the best at doing that, but look, Yeomans is right underneath him. And Ben Yeomans is being very sensible here. He's not just gung-hoing up the inside, he's waiting until Michael is basically spent. He's trying to wear him out here as they go down the straight. As far as he's concerned, Michael can do all the hard work trying to close up on the leader, Sam Dimelo. Ben can just sit behind him, watch the lines he's taking, repeat the process, chip away at the gap. And look, Michael Ritz is even looking over his shoulder. That's a rookie error, Michael. You don't want to do that. You want to keep pushing forward. You know that Ben Yeomans is there. You know that he's going to be feisty. So just focus on your job. Very tricky, this. A very tough circuit, Clay Pigeon. The lap is only about 34 and a half seconds in these carts. So you have to be so careful that you've got the setup right. And then you have to commit to every single corner, every single apex, every single blip of the brake, every single uh, pressure on the throttle again uh, to 100% commitment. It is so tough, so physical. You really have to be on your A game to race in this championship. Now, it looks like Jim Rainbird has well and truly got clear of Ken Churchill. What's happened to Ken? Not entirely sure. We're too busy focusing on the second place battle, but Rainbird is on his own. So it looks as though the Grandmaster Trophy will go his way again. Through the right sweeper. Here comes Sam Dimelo over the line. They're actually chipping away at that gap a little bit, but that is Sam Dimelo conserving time, not failing in terms of his uh, mechanics or uh, mechanical gremlins in the cart or anything like that. Now, George Friday's got past Ken Churchill, and so too is Mark Lawrence. Lawrence is actually alongside Friday. Now, did he make it through? No, he didn't. I just looked in the background because that was as close as I could see, but Mark Lawrence definitely giving George Friday a bit of a hassle now. As still, Ben Yeomans trying to put pressure on Michael Roots. 30 seconds to go. So at the end of this lap, there's going to be just two more. There's Sam Dimelo, two to go. He's just measuring the gap, so he just sees what the gap is to Michael Roots behind him. I'm not pushing. I don't have to. So why should I? I've got this win in the bag. Yeomans underneath Michael Roots, still pushing. This is now the moment when Yeomans is going to try and make that move on Michael Roots. You want to get through on the penultimate lap, ideally. I mean, you can still make the move on the final lap, but there are too many variables that can go wrong. So you want to get through and consolidate the position as soon as possible. Roots is having to defend. 
Don't even think about it, Sunshine. It's not happening. The best I can get from this race is second, so I'm going to do it. Sam Dimolo, look at that pace. 35-3-4-4. In these conditions, when you're that far out in front, that's not bad going at all. Last lap in the Supermasters 1-2-5. And this is an absolute masterclass from Sam Dimolo. It's going to be, can you believe I'm about to say this, his 12th win out of 15. I should point out, I told you earlier that Ken Churchill uh, made an offer to, to let me have a go in the car to, uh, later in the season. Sam Dimolo made the same offer, but he did say, if I'm still fighting for the championship, forget it. <laughs> Not surprised at all. Into the final corner. Sam Dimolo, I don't think he's going to be fighting for the championship for long at this rate. He cruises out of the final corner. He's got time to spare. Roots is going to close right up, but it's already over. Dimolo wins it from Roots and Yeomans. Fourth position for Sam Fisher. Fifth place for Jim Rainbird, and he takes the Grandmaster Trophy. Lawrence does get George Friday in the end in front of Carl Churchill with Sean Port coming home neatly. Ken Churchill is 10th across the line, but unfortunately he is going to be penalised for an incident earlier in the race, so Stig Elberth winds up in the top 10. But Sam Dimolo wins for the 12th time out of 15. Can anybody catch him in 2017? Well, Sam Dimolo, there were three races today and uh, three victories. It was a bit like blowing your nose. It was quite easy. It was a nice, clean, faultless day. We had our problem in the practice, overcome it, and nice day driving around in the sun. So obviously you keep this up. By the time we get to Butmore Park, your leader will almost be unassailable. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's quite a lot at the moment, so hopefully it'll carry on. Okay, well, good job today and more in eight weeks' time. Yeah, hopefully. 50 points is a massive gap, but Michael Roots and Ben Yeomans will not give up. They will try and catch Dimolo. Rainbird is fourth in the standings from Sam Fisher and George Friday, with plenty of work to do before the next round. So after a fast and furious day's racing here at Clay Pigeon, we're off to take our summer break. But we'll be back in eight weeks' time with one of the best circuits in Great Britain, Buckmore Park. And of course, the championship fights will be at Fever Pitch. See you soon.